Win or bust. That Spurs position. They must surely take all three remaining tricks if they're to have enough points in their hand for survival at the end of the season. Given an enthusiastic welcome by a good-sized crowd. And that's their lineup, which shows the injury problems which tend to go hand in hand with a team in trouble. Only Ian Moores of the players bought this season is in the starting lineup. Peter Taylor has knee trouble, but is there if the gamble on his fitness is required. Aston Villa, welcome back. Dennis Mortimer and Chris Nickel this afternoon. But they lose John Robson, who has a virus infection. So 20-year-old Keith Macefield is in the starting team for the first time after being a substitute on seven occasions. Two captains, Chris Nicholl on the left and Steve Perriman of Tottenham on the right. The referee is Cliff Maskell of Cambridgeshire. Happy smile from Steve Perriman. These are very testing days for a young man who is pushing towards his 300th league appearance for Tottenham, having come into the side in 1969. Spurs with a slight breeze at their backs, playing in the white shirts. Aston Villa in claret and blue. Copley for Villa. Feeling in the Aston Villa camp, although they lost at Arsenal in midweek. They've still got to keep plugging on in the hope that the teams above them will slip, that their chance for the title hasn't completely gone, although on paper it would seem that it has. Smith. John Pratt with the throw, but it's going out. It was out before Moore's touched it. It's certainly good support for Tottenham and they're in need of all of it. Statistically, in the worst position of any of the sides at the bottom of the first division. Andy Gray. Pratt. Spurs throw. Pitch has taken its watering very well. In fact, it's a greener pitch than Tottenham have had for many a long day. Understanding there between uh, Maysfield and uh, Phillips. Here's Ray Gray. Mortimer in a fair bit of space. And in with a chance of the shot if he doesn't delay too long. Here's Little. Spurs back in numbers, but here's Graydon who got behind two of them. Little, look at the spin on the ball. Gray! What a let off for Tottenham from the young man voted by the professional players as their young player and indeed their best player of the season. Had a clear chance then as the spinning ball was pushed in by Brian Little. And Pat Jennings, I think, would have had no chance at all if Andy Gray had connected with that properly. On such things, relegation can turn. Gordon Smith. Hoddle. Well taken by Coates, well left by Hoddle. His Moors! Well, he picked it out, but he put it wide. Good build up on the right involving Hoddle and Ralph Coates. Coates taking it nicely in his stride and putting in a good cross, finding his man. Moors not quite finding the spot that he wanted. bench, Peter Taylor on the left in the uh, yellow. And the free kick to Villa. Chris Nickel has come up. Dean. Fine goal by John Dean. Met firmly with his head. So a header at one end went wide, a header at the other end goes right from the free kick. Nickel 
had picked up a position far side and Dev made it so subtly much further over. Stead. Armstrong. Crumpley. Smith did that well, but it was a bit short for him. Moores. Field just outside the area. Came rather charging in, did Maysfield. Saw Andy Gray go through the picture then. An indication that Villa have indeed pulled everybody back. All 11 Aston Villa players are in the Aston Villa 18 yard area. Pratt and Hoddle on the ball, Stead to the left. Now moving further forward. Hoddle might try to curl one, and does, and makes it! Oh, beauty! A beauty! That is class! Beautifully done, Burridge had no chance. I would love to see the swerve and curl on that, because it must have been quite considerable. Glenn Hoddle... Every time we see him, he shows himself a name to remember. Here's Perriman. John Saunders, the Aston Villa manager, with his hand to his mouth. John Gidman on the uh, right as we look in the light jacket. Good challenge by Crockley. Deserved a better fortune. Here's Jones. But are suddenly caught with too many men forward. Saved by Nickel, but here is Pratt. Don't know whether Philip touched that, but Pratt's shots arriving very awkwardly for John Burridge. Free kick that time. Not against Stead. He was the man pushed against John Deere. Nickel pulling the line forward, so is Phillips. There's Pratt. Armstrong! Two good saves. Huddle. And in the end, the soft did. So much power in that shot. Burridge simply put his fist there and knocked it straight up. Right Mortimer. It's first throw. And again. Referee having a quick look at his watch, and a quick look was all he needed. And there is entertainment in the relegation zone. Two goals, a header of power by John Dean, and number eight there, a goal of grace, making it 1 1 at half time. Away go Aston Villa at the start of the second half.
Keith Birkenshaw on the right in the back row. Good use of the chest by Gray. Here's Mortimer. There are times when he's a knife through butter in this defence. Here's Graydon. Well, the body doing the work then for the keeper. Where the hands didn't, the body all behind the shot of Bray Graydon. Pratt. Graydon. Cropley. Dean. Little. Mortimer just to his right, it's a question of timing the pass. Disappointing cross from Dennis Mortimer. And the substitution ready to be made, the number nine up for loft and number nine disappearing. Ian Moores be replaced by Peter Taylor. Nickel, Huddle, Coates, Naylor. Armstrong, Huddle, and up the crossbar! When luck is so desperately needed, it won't come. Huddle's left foot effort rolling on the crossbar. Jones, Hoddle, Nickel. Here's Hoddle, here's Jones. Oh, yes! Oh, what about that? What about that? And look what it means. Just listen to what it means. It means that they've struggle off their knees to be back on their feet again. Whatever happens, whether they go down or not, they're going down fighting. Back in the lead with a goal by Chris Jones. A superb pirouette and a real crunch to the far corner. Five minutes left and Tottenham suddenly see a different horizon. Steve Perriman in the middle, a face of determination. Now, oh, can the hatches be battened down not to give away this priceless extra point gain? Mortimer's shot. <laughs> Keith Birkinshaw on his feet in the director's box. Here's Armstrong. Coates, Taylor over this side, so is Pratt. Armstrong trying to find Taylor, and here he is, and that's another! And they're all vital. Goal difference could be so important. Although Tottenham's really, to be fair, is so bad. But it's on a par with West Ham's. Utter delight now. Taylor was free for an awful long time and it finally came through to him and he rifles home Tottenham's third goal of the match and to the cry of easy, easy. Well, I ask you, it was anything but that and will be anything but that for the rest of the season. Here's Mortimer. Only seconds left, no doubt about the verdict now. Two points to keep Tottenham's hopes of survival alive. Jones.
occurrence. And they want another. Armstrong. Go kick. And the cry from the crowd is, we won't go down. Well, they're certainly fighting to maintain their balance. And they will fight on. Scenes more usually associated with victory. Keith Birkinshaw already disappearing to add his words to what is a triumph on the afternoon. Taylor goes away. He scored the third. Jones, who turned it Tottenham's way with the second. And the crowd go home still living in hope. And the players go away to find out just how much that victory counts when they look at the other results.